The Law of Ueki. Man, for the people that haven't seen this anime, man, y'all need to watch this anime, man. So, this anime, it surprised me. Like, the first couple episodes when I was watching it, I'm like, oh, it's nice, I guess. But then, in like episode 10-ish, around there, like, it starts to pick up. And ever since it picked up, it never, well, for me anyways, it never, like, went back down. It just kept going up and up and up until it ended. So, The Law of Ueki is an anime where people have powers. Well, cause there had, there's this world, right, where it's the celestial world. And then people from the celestial world that are celestials can go and give other people powers, right? And so, they go to, uh, so, so there's this tournament going around. And whoever wins the tournament gets the power of blank, which I guess they can get, they get granted anything they want. So it's like a wish. So the Celestials go and pick up students from like high school or something. You know, the main character, he gets picked up by the dude named Mr. K. And, you know, he wanted the power to turn trash into trees, which sounds kind of stupid. But the way the main character uses that power is like, whoa, this motherfucker is really smart with the way he uses his powers. It, it reminds me of like Luffy from One Piece. You know how... He got the power to stretch and all that, and you look at it like, dude, this fucking power is so stupid. But the way he uses it, it, it looks raw. It's the same thing here. It's like, dude, this dude, this dude got power to turn trash into trees, but he uses it, 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 and it looks cool the way he uses it. But anyway, so, yeah, like I said, it's, it's, a, it's like a tournament, and whoever wins gets the power to, uh, gets to, like a wish, right? So, that's like the most that's basically what the whole anime is about but like at the first couple episodes it's not they don't really focus on that that much they just focus on the main characters beating other people because in this show in this anime they have uh talents which is i guess that's how the power system works in this anime is if if you have like a like talents like let's say you have nine talents and if you beat people that doesn't have powers with the power you have you'll lose a talent so if I beat somebody else, so if I beat somebody up and he don't got no 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 powers, I'll lose a talent. Then I have eight, and then if I beat eight people, then I got no talents left. I cease to exist. It's 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 complicated. It's fucking weird. I I try not to you know dwell on that too much, but yeah, that's basically how it is. And if you beat a power user, then you'll gain a talent. So instead of losing one, you'll get one. So I will have like ten, and then. Yeah, there's people in the anime that had it all the way up to like 200 talents. It's just I like, do. What the fuck? How? I, I don't even know, man. I try not to think about it so much. But no, man. This anime, it, it, I like it, man. I really like it, man. If I were to give this anime a rating, I would give it like a seven and a half out of ten. A real, real clean anime. Real, real, real solid one. Um, the main character. I'm gonna talk about the main character. The so main character. This dude when he fights. Well, to be honest, this goes mostly for all the main characters, like, you know, the main character and, like, his friends. They all are pretty smart, man. They fight, and they, the way they, they win is, is in smart ways, which, I, you know, I like that shit. So, it's like, the main character, he's a smart dude. So, something about uh, the main character, um, he's righteous, and he believes in justice and all this stuff. And in this world, apparently, everybody's evil. Like, everybody don't care about people. Like, everybody just, you know, they're just bad, right? So, this dude does exactly what Naruto does. You know how Naruto, you know, every time you got to fight somebody, he starts crying and bitching about, oh, I'm, I grew up without my parents. I'm sad and lonely and all this shit. And, you know, he changes a bad guy into a good guy. Yueki does the same thing without talking. He changes people by fighting them like when he fights and he does like hero stuff kind of like the per like the bad the person he's uh fighting against they get like inspired i guess to change the ways and you know be more positive and more i don't know kind like dude like this dude like the like who i thought was gonna be the main villain but ended up not being the main villain um spoilers if you wanted to go see the anime Go watch it. It's solid. Pretty solid. It's 51 episodes. The dub is pretty good if y'all into that dub shit. So now, from now on, I'm going to talk about the anime. I'm talking about spoilers, man. All right? So you've been warned. If I'm, I'm going to talk about shit that happened in the show. So don't be over here like, oh, man, you didn't warn me. Here's your spoiler warning. So Robert Hayden. This, this is my dude, man. You already, If you know me, man, I'm a dude that likes the villains more than the main characters for most 
animes that I've seen. So my guy, Robert Hayden. So this dude, he grew up evil, right? Like, because when he was younger, when he was a kid, I think he was like seven years old or something like that, you know, he kept getting abused by humans so, and, you know, bullied and all that because people were afraid of him because uh, the celestial people, they have sacred weapons and there's 10 of them. The more, the one, once you go up a level, you get a new power. So, Robert, he has the first star celestial weapon, which is a Kurogane, which is like a hand cannon, you know, some shit, right? So, he, he could use that, and people were afraid of him, and, you know, because he thought he was a monster and all this. So, they kept, like, abusing him and shit. So, they basically pulled the Naruto, you know, like, how Naruto kept getting bullied and shit because he had the nine tails. So, basically, the same thing with Robert Hayden. So, Robert Hayden grew up hating humans and all that, and then he meets Ueki. They fight, and then... That he sees that Ueki is righteous and you know he's not just a good guy because somebody told him to or for some dumb reason he's like genuinely like a justice person like he's genuinely a good dude so like he sees Ueki's determination so he gets scared right and then at one part in the fight when they're fighting like a roof comes down like a like part of the roof comes down and is about to crush Robert Hayden and then that's when Ueki moved that uh, pushed him out the way and Ueki ended up getting hit by the Falling debris instead of Robert Hayden, and you know that's what Robert Hayden was like. Man, maybe not all humans are bad, and you know, and I would damn man, Robert Hayden, man, that's my dude. I like shit like this. Seeing a bad guy uh, go through this type of change, man, I love seeing shit like this. Robert Hayden, that's my that's my favorite character in the whole series. Man, it's, it it sucks, man. I like I like I, I like the anime. I like the characters. I like the, every character has a reason for why they do what they do. Robert Hayden, like, once we see that fight with Ueki, like, that's the last we see of him until, like, the last episode. And I was, like, disappointed. If I had to change anything in this anime, it'll be like, man, I wish we just saw more of Robert Hayden, for real. Like, I was kind of hoping that Robert and Ueki would team up and then we'll go fight, like, a common, like, a, like a mutual enemy or something, but we didn't get that. But, hey, the anime is still solid, man. But, no, they, like I said, the characters have a reason why they do what they do. It's not like... It's not like a generic anime where characters just do things just because the art they wanted them to. Like, the characters do things and they, they show the reason why. Like, there's this one character, uh, she was, when she was little, uh, she had a group of army friends and I, there was some war going on at that time. So, they were about to go to war and then she didn't want them to leave. So, she, he, they were like, you know what? If you, if you train and get stronger, we'll come back. So, you know, she spent like all her, like, live train and trying to get stronger and you know she's fucking strong she beating the fuck out of Ueki right and you know but then she realizes like you know they you know they died and that's why they're not coming back they've been this long and they still haven't come back like she knows but she doesn't want to admit it but she ended up she you know and eventually she accepts it that they died and you know she sees Ueki and her his team you know his team is all about friendship and you know protecting each other just because y'all friends you know just genuinely good people compare to her team where they do things just to win like they'll use teammates as like pawns if they have to and then you know she sees you and she gets motivated now she train now she wants to be like him where she fights with her team as friends only and she's not going to use anybody as expendables or nothing like that so that's what i'm saying bro like Ueki changes people just by just by fighting. He doesn't does he don't do that Naruto shit. We start crying and shit like oh I'm, I'm grew up sad. You know, I got the night tail. My parents died. Nobody loves me. No, he, he don't he don't do none of that shit. He changes people by fighting them. And dude, I I, I love it, man. I'm glad that he doesn't do no Naruto shit. Cause I, man, no, I, I ain't trying to have no talk no jutsu, man. I'm I'm cool. There's another character where his mom I guess was working and she came home early. But the guy thought that it was a burglar, so he used, he's, he's a celestial, he used like the cannon weapon, the Kurogane, and he hit his mom, and I guess his mom went into coma. So, the bad guys show up, and they promised him, like, hey, if you work with us, we'll, you know, we'll give you, you and your mom back together. So, that's the reason why he's with the bad guys, and he does that. So, you know, there, there's a lot of reasons why people do what they do in this anime, you know, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty uh, refreshing, man, because... Seeing shit, people do shit just cause it's kind of boring, you know what I'm saying? Generic. But no, man, for this anime is pretty solid. I like the, key. I like it, I like it. The, the animation is not bad. It's a 2005 anime, so I, I think it's pretty damn good if you ask me. The characters are pretty awesome. Uh, they get real, they get developed uh, fairly enough. 
And so, like the main characters get, the main character he gets way developed, but at least the side characters get developed too. You know, they all get their own spotlight. The I mean, he he Yoshi. I wanted him to get some more spotlight, but I mean he got him him his, his own spotlight. But I wanted him to get more. But hey, it is what it is. But um. Uh, no man, this anime has a lot of potential. Like it, it could have kept on going on if I'm being real, because you could explore the celestial world more. Um, you could have like Uek and Robert Hayden team up for like this new threat or something. You can expand on the underworld more and make more arcs. Yeah, man, this this anime has a lot of potential, man. It, it could have kept on going on too. Introduce new characters and you know it, new bad guys, new good guys, whatever the case. And man, it would have been nice, man, for real. It, it's kind of, it, I mean, 51 episodes isn't that bad either. It's, it's kind of long, I guess. Well, not really long, but you know, it's a nice little, nice little anime series they got there. I mean, for what they did, it's pretty good, and I recommend it. I really do. Yuki, like seven out, seven out of seven and a half out of ten, it's a pretty solid anime, man. Y'all should watch it. If y'all watching this and haven't watched it, y'all need to go watch it. Even though I kind of spoil some things, go watch it, man. Do it. I'm surprised how underrated this anime is. Like I was watching, I'm like, dude, this anime is really not that popular. Like the soundtrack is, uh, is, is pretty good. The, the 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 story is pretty good. I mean, generic, I guess. You know, win a tournament and get a wish. It kind of reminds me of like the Hunter Exam and like the Dark Tournament from Yu Haku Show. It, it it reminds me, gives me vibes like it. I'm not saying it's exactly like it or better. I'm just saying it gives me Yu Yu Hakusho, Dark Tournament, and Hunter x Hunter, Hunter exam vibes. That's all I'm saying. And uh, the characters are pretty good. Yeah, they all got their own little thing. They all get fairly developed. They all get their own spotlight. They all gave reasons to do what they do. Pretty good overall. Solid ass anime. If y'all haven't watched it, do yourself a favor and go fucking watch it. I think, you know what? I'm going to leave a link in the comment section. Y'all just click on it. And y'all can all watch it on in dub. The dub is pretty good. I, I seen it in dub. It ain't that bad. It ain't no cringy voice acting like One Piece or not or Naruto or not like that. It, it's pretty good. Pretty solid anime. I don't know what else to think, uh, talk about. I talked about the characters. I talked about the story. Well, no, I haven't really talked about the story, but it's, it's you know like I said, it's just a tournament. Whoever wins get a, uh, like a wish. You know, it's not really much to talk about. Um, um, yeah, that's. Pr I mean, yeah, that's it. I guess. A pretty good anime, man. Really, really good. I don't know what else to say, but if I could change anything, I would just I would want to see more Robert Hayden and maybe gave Hideyoshi a little bit more spotlight. But that's about it for the Law of You Eki. Pretty solid. I mean, it has it, it could it could go on. It could go on for you know expand the more things. The Celestial World and Underworld still not really explored like that. So they can make an arc where they just in the celestial world and you know they explore that little world more often. You know they meet more, more bad guys. Same with the underworld, but hey, they didn't do it. But hey, it's pretty cool, man. Maybe I don't know. Maybe they just had the money money for it. You know, it is underrated. So, but hey, it's pretty good and.